Hello everyone and welcome to State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition, given to me by Microsoft. Thank you so so much Microsoft for letting me to play State of Decay 2. I played the first one, I didn't do too well, but we'll see if I do any better in this one. So guys, a little bit of a porcupine I've been told here. I have played this game a little bit before, so let's see if I do any better from where I am because I haven't played this for a while I have no idea what I am doing so new features incoming plague territory now stops you from claiming sites near a plague heart many outposts now offer upgrades and new strategic choices switch to a new map or map difficulty to see these features in action right so right now I am playing as this character whose name I have completely forgotten I have, ah, Victoria. My name is Victoria, which is funny because Victoria is the name of someone I talk to on a weekly basis. Oh. So, just to make you guys aware of what the purpose of State of K2 is, there is a plague that has turned people into zombies. Which is the premise of most zombie games. Your objective is to find as many survivors as you can and carry on surviving. You also need to take out things called plague hearts, which house the stronger zombies nearby. Um, we have a big job facing us. Anyone over there want in? Do you like tagging along? I'm right behind you. When it comes to survivors, you can actually recruit them to come along with you, which makes a load of sense. You can also check out the map to see areas that you can go to. It'll also tell you infestation areas. Places that you might want to go to, especially if they're friendly. So you start the game off, um, of course, learning a bit of history about the survivors you choose. For me, it was Victoria and their lover. We are all LGBT friendly in this community, guys. Along the way, yeah. you get survivors. You can give them items, get them to help you out. And, of course, save your bacon. You can also get vehicles. But, like everything, they will eventually break down and you need to fuel them I don't remember if fueling them was a thing in the first game but it is in this one so we are heading to the military outpost we're going to ignore that zombie there because that zombie can stay away you also get the hordes that appear on the road as well and those hordes can be a bit hard going especially if they're in a quite high number so why do I have an ambulance I do not remember the purpose of me having an ambulance here. I'm gonna be off the air for a bit. I've gotten word of a radio tower with some impressive reach. I should be there in a couple of days. And let's talk to someone. Maybe I'm in the wrong area. Also, you can smash through windows in this one. Once I'm set up, the network's voice will be stronger than ever. Keep the faith, people. Is it young Yo, I need a ah. hand with something. If anyone friendlies around, I'll see you around. Don't be gone Wait, for too long. I'm not supposed to talk to you. Just say, speak with Cam. Maybe up there? No, not up here. And like the previous game, you also need to make sure you've got supplies. So this can be food, medicine, building supplies. And we're not going to shoot Brisby. Chavez, Brisby. Where is Cam? I forgot which one Cam is. That's Chavez. Anderson. Cam. Okay, here's the thing. When we abandoned our last home, some of us didn't make it. We could use your help recovering something that got left behind. If your dead friends are still walking around, I get why you don't want to go back. I can help. Thanks. 
We want to keep the information. The guy's I have to see what happened to my friends. I'm coming with you. Okay. I'm sure you're right, hun. I'm pretty sure I've actually done this one before. Okay, so I have a machine gun. Can we use this by any chance? Ah, oh, we can. Why was I using an arrow? So we want to take. Shit, get rid of it. Yeah, that's my car. That's another thing. Zombies can hang on to the car as well. And if you're not careful, they can also damage you. So they'll reach in and start grabbing you, which is not fun. There are also a lot of dangerous zombies that you don't want to tango with, especially if you're on your own. Also, the plague samples, which it That's said just place. now. Oh, hang on, we've got these. The plague samples that they were just talking about can actually be used to help when your survivors get infested. infected. A screamer. Let's not make it upset. Oh, uh, yeah. Screamers also attract, and we do not want them attracted. Oh, uh, too late. The good thing with screamers is they can't do too much damage, as they have no arms. Wow, Anderson, you pack a punch. Well, I'm a bit concerned that all you've got is a baseball bat. Ugh. Uh huh. Hmm. What's in here? Also, be careful not to do fast searches if there's zombies nearby, because nine out of ten, the zombies will get you. Found it. I'm Ooh. good to go. New gun. I'll take that. All right. Get this. The area is secure and the outpost is up. Sorry, I froze up. Go back without me. I need to think about why this hit me so hard. So long. Hmm. Okay. Wait, return the AK-47? Dang it, that means I can't have it equipped. Uh, how do I unequip? Okay, so... We'll take that. Dang it, I thought I could keep that equipped. Oh. What's that? Another bonus with this game, which I don't think is explored that much in a previous game, is that I'm carrying a bit much right now. You can also get quite a bit of stuff huh? um, from dead bodies, and of course you can easily transfer huh? items to a character if I remember how to do it. Ah, that's it. Yeah, we got, maybe we can get you to equip that. There you go. That's another reason why I like survivors. You can say, hey, you carry this for me. Quests aren't too hard in this game. It just depends on making sure your character isn't injured too much, making sure you don't run into too many hordes, I just did. And making you sure you're well equipped. Ah. And of course you can always radio in if you are having trouble and one of the other survivors can come and help you. Which I thought was quite a nice to share. Go away. I'm explaining things here, zombie. That 
was my last magazine. You also get skills as well, which you can upgrade. Oh well. Yeah, see, you get skills, you can upgrade them, and you can specialise if you hit the correct mark. So let's see, endurance or sword play. Let's do endurance. Huh? Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay, let's go back to where Cam is. Hey. And here's the AK-47 yes. that you want. It was awful, but we can't let it interfere with the mission. Even though I wanted to keep the AK-47. So now we have more influence over this area, and this place is friendly, even more so because we helped. Also, you guys can keep the ambulance. I'm going to take this. Survivor in need. Investigate survivor activity at the Hobson Clinic. Okay. And also to secure territories you need to destroy play cards. Which both makes the game slightly more difficult I believe. But also makes it easier. Because zombies will not bother you too much. Unlike those two who fall. I can make for a nice tasty snack. Okay, so the clinic is over there. I am here. Also, yes, guys, I have, I do know a little bit of Spanish. There's a pharmacy, so you want to go to the pharmacy because with this, we can also drop things off in the trunk, which would be beneficial to us. And as far as I'm aware, we are running low on certain supplies. There's nothing here that we need. One up, we have no available slot. Okay, so she's, they said there's nothing here. I'm inclined to believe what they just said. So, apart from zombies, which I can hear on the roof, I think. Let's see what's in here. I was freaking out. Locked. Oh yeah, and when a door is locked, just back. I hope nothing heard that. Orale. I got separated from my group. Can you help me get to our meetup spot at the shipping warehouse? Word. And you can have, I think, up to two followers. And is there anything at all in here? Are you trying to... Uh-oh. This place seems safe for now. You say safe for now, but I heard a growl of sorts. Or maybe I'm hearing something that's in the distance. Either way, we should probably get a move on. And you can... Woo! Hurry up. Freak zombie. Woo! Oh. Okay, we need to turn around. That is one of the zombies I do not like, late folks. The speedy one. Come here. I just saw a feral poking around. Yeah, we don't want to deal with the feral right now. Especially since it's been a while since I've actually played this, so I have no idea. That's the place. It was just down the road. Even you could have made that. Oh, hold on. Looks like some hungry deadheads are wandering in. Not a problem, just letting you know. Okay, we have problems back at home. Also, another thing is you have this to defend your territory. Be a good day. Ooh, okay, I'll take that. Um, is that really what was in there? Yeah, okay, I guess so. Ooh, okay. I hear zombies, I don't like this. I think we're here. Okay, maybe there wasn't. Thank I thought there was a zombie hiding here. What's that? I I don't know what I picked up. What was that? Power tools. Whoa! Please tell me you guys got that handled. I want to start searching areas. I really do like games like this. What was the survival thing? Like, eventually... We're going to need to start surviving. Eventually, that something bad is going to happen to the world, and we need to survive. I'm not talking about the outbreak we have at the moment. I think we're doing pretty okay on the... They're coming in through the ceiling. I 
think we're doing pretty okay to an extent. So that much for being discreet. May have been bad. Okay, I need to get this into the car side. With backpacks like that, it's best to put it in the car because those slow you down. Now it's saying that there's zombies. There's, is that two? Okay, that's the whole place to search by the looks of it. Maybe I should stop looting these guys. Maybe I should actually talk to them. Talk to a member of the rowdy outsiders. Thank you so much for bringing Hebram back to us. We weren't staying long, so it was a timely intervention. I want you to have this as a sign of appreciation. See you later. Oh. Thank you. Also, even if your inventory is full, you can still take something like this. But it will slow you down, as you can see from here. Put that there. Uh -huh. Just move some stuff there. Okay, right. We should probably head back. Let's head back, see what's going on, and we'll also potentially do some upgrades and stuff. We'll see. Okay, that's a lot of dead guys in one place. Yeah, it is. We don't want to tango over right now. We want to head back because this character is sleepy, and a sleepy character isn't going to do much good. Oh, there's a feral behind me. Oh, listen to that music kick in. any of those monsters inside do you hear me yeah okay so there we go that should help a bit this character also needs a break. prepare for the zombie attack on you six seconds oh days like it's gonna be a fun We're under attack! Keep those damn zeds out! Great. <sighs> I'm glad that's over. I didn't do anything, and they sorted out the threat themselves. They didn't need my help. They're still shooting a few off, but they didn't need my help. At all. Bless them. Bless them. Okay, so I can send this character to rest. And then I can swap to another character. Um... Yeah, so let's go see. I was playing, I had Brisby with me, so let's just switch to Brisby. Also, you can exile survivors if they do stuff that you don't want them to do. Why are you following me? Go rest. Hmm? Don't be gone for too long. I won't be, Take but care you of need yourself now. You need to rest. What? Ugh, I have no idea where they went. I told them to rest. They don't listen to me. Right, so let's see what we've got in this. Okay, so we need to. We need to. Okay, so the backpack can carry a 12 ABS, that's good. We've got bandages, we've got another backpack if we don't need. We've got ammunition, we don't have any ammunition for that. That takes 762, so that's this one. We need to get more ammunition, right. When it comes to this, I like to get my inventory as empty as possible and then head out. You're gonna have to do, and I pray that you can actually help me on this, because these infestations are not the best, especially if the screaming goes off. Just me, I wonder. Are you? I hate to say this, but I think we've stretched the limits of this place. We should start looking for a bigger base. Well, you can hold up on that idea. Because we're going to take an infestation. Oh. Woohoo! Look at that skid go! I should probably take care of that group, but we'll do a bit later. I. Oh 
One thing I like as well, I think you get achievements for running down zombies as well. Yep, we got oh. a screamer over here. Yep, we got a screamer. Take out a screamer. Time to reload. That's my last magazine. Okay, so you have to be careful with magazines. At least we took out the screamer before it screamed. The last thing I want is for that to go off because that is so noisy when it does it. As you guys saw earlier. Okay, so whilst we're here, we can check around the stuff. Is it a little foggy in here? It'd be worse. Mm. Wait, what? Wait. Oh, it's interactive with me for some reason. No, we don't have any slots for outpost. We need a bigger base before I can get another outpost, I think. This is good stuff. Mm, what's this? High trade value. Okay, I'll take it. Zombies are elsewhere for a change. Yeah, which is brilliant for us. Don't complain about them being elsewhere. Clothes. Okay. We can also change outfits. So if you don't like what the survivors are wearing, just change their clothes. Simple. That's it. Yep. Okay. Oh, food. Brilliant. Always need food. You guys didn't see, but I was really nervous there. Oh, I got lucky this time. So we can dump, we can switch this out for something in the truck. Okay, so that was just an infestation. That was no play part. What we want to do though is take out a play part. But, ah, that's yeah, this was all we ran onto. Barrel. Barrel. So we'll go back. Oops, not bash into everything. Go back, dump the supplies off, and then see. What that other transmission was going to go. You spend so much in this area that you actually get used to. Okay, I take back my time. I was going to say, you spend so much time in this area, you actually get used to. One of these days, I'm going to be able to knock you out. You get used to the layout of the area. That deadhead's got the plague. Better stay back. I think all of them have the plague. They're zombies. And there's a zombie stuck on my tire. Ew. Alright, you keep me safe. So I just deliver these. Uh, yeah. The good thing about being this close to base is you can also. Don't need that. You can also just deposit it like that. It makes it so much faster and easier. I love that. At least they're pretty much just down the road. That was a nice turn. Ismail, you really do love the back though. Good to see you. Come here. Hey Micah. It seems we really need a portable generator. I don't suppose you have one lying around. Don't, I can but we can, we, can look, we can look for one. Oops, sorry, Micah. Where the hell do we get a possible generator from? Mm. Alright. Ah, ah, there's a play part. In Bronto Gas. There's quite a few play parts. Okay, so we want to go to the closest one. That's also near an outpost, so if need be, I can we don't want to go that way because the bridge is out. Let's go this way. There was a zombie near me? Oh, did not spot that. There's zombies everywhere. A play cart. Whoa, hang on. Do I have any bombs? Can I craft bombs? Shh. 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 
Did not mean to do that at all. Okay, hold on. Let's go back because I should probably try and either see if I can make bombs or find an area that would potentially have some. I don't care what people say. You need a pistol. You can have all the strong weapons you want. Huh? But the thing is though, you need something a little bit quieter at times. Or something that you can be a bit more accurate with. And also something that is a lot easier to aim with at short range. Wait, what's that moth on? Oh, it's a play card one. Oops. This is Lily Ritter with the network. Hello. Our friend Twain is moving through dangerous territory. Working to expand the reach of our broadcast. If you're listening, Twain, please know that we're keeping the faith. The network is also the survivors, who aren't with us. <laughs> I don't know why that means. Oh, that's quite weird. how especially the feral zombies they will move out of the way when they see you coming okay. the air's all red and gooey it's gotta mean a plague heart is nearby and probably plague zombies too okay, we've got to be careful I should reload. Better watch out for plague zombies. How is it just reload? Remember your explosive, folks. That's pretty heavy. There's no room for that. All right, Ismail. What's up? Uh. Okay, so we've got infections. Okay. Ugh. If they didn't hear the, if they, they didn't hear the explosion, that. I should be fine. But yeah, that is a plague heart. a lot easier when you've got kabooms with you. I'm not entirely sure if you can actually make kabooms. If you're please. interested in training, come on by and we can talk. Oh, trading. Trading with it. I'm missing the container. What am I missing? I might be on the roof actually. Okay, so he's been infected and I know she's definitely been infected. So we have two infected and I need to switch both of them out. Sometimes huh? I need to watch where I'm going. And hopefully nothing happens to us along the way. Tons of seats there. Why do you always go to the back? Actually, to be honest, if I could do that, I would too. I'd be too afraid of falling off the vehicle as it's being moved. Bye, Lord. I didn't see what it said there. Citizen, what? Reputation? I hope it's reputation. I need reputation. Oh. 
didn't know they were going to get water. Did not know they could get pulled out of that. I got genuinely concerned for the one over here. I've got a name already. But let's get back. We've got the feral dead, so that's something. Good job, everyone. We're not dead yet. We may be if I don't have enough for a cure, though. Okay, let's go back to Victoria. Ismail. Don't go breaking our windows. You can break the other windows, but not our windows. And Ismail needs to go here as well. I think I'm gonna take a sick Okay. So, whilst Brisby and Ismail are resting up, that is all I have time for today. Thank you so much, Microsoft, for allowing me to play State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. I really enjoy the aspects of the game. I love the survival, I love the fighting, I love the survivors. I also love the... You guys didn't see it, but you can get fighting issues where they will actually walk away and I have heard that they will steal stuff when they leave you. I also like the various little subplots you get with other characters and I just really enjoy the game. I love the music, the ambience. I also really enjoyed the, the different types of zombies. I nearly said vampires there. I also enjoyed the different types of zombies that have come along. I'm not too keen on the feral ones because they are quite fast. But anyway, guys, if you like the content I put out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.